Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Write With Me at IELTS Juice. This time, we have an essay to plan and analyze, of course. The rubric, as always, is over here. It says, in many countries, people are now living longer than ever before. Please pay attention to the grammar. People are now living. This is something that is only related to this time frame right now. It wasn't like this before. Be careful with the grammar. Some people say an aging population creates problems for governments. So this is part of a fact. As you can see, IELTS writes it here and puts a full stop. I'm going to read it again. We need to understand how IELTS talks. Listen to this. Some people say an aging population creates problems for governments. From the IELTS's perspective, this is fact. Old people create problems for governments. This is the fact that IELTS wants us to understand. We cannot dispute it here. Then it moves on. Other people think that, I'm sorry, think there are benefits if society has more elderly people. Now, there are some other people who believe that, oh, not at all. If we have more old people, it's actually good for the society. So, IELTS gives us two camps, two groups of people. All right. Now, for many, many candidates that I have seen, they just look at it and they think, okay, this is a discussion essay. I'm going to talk about the first camp here, the second camp here, and then I'm going to express my opinion. Boom, done. It's, it's happy. I'm going to get my seven. No. The essay type is not what you see on the top. The essay type is dictated by the line you see at the bottom. That decides what type of essay we are going to write. And here it says, to what extent do the advantages of having an aging population outweigh the disadvantages? You see, now, in our opinion, we need to say how or to what extent the advantages of having old people will outweigh the disadvantages. We need to show how it is done. This is a tricky question. When you look, read the topic, you think that, ah, oh, okay, this is a discussion led essay, but it's not. When you look at the uh, essay type, you read it and you think that, oh, this is an opinion essay. I'm going to say, yeah, it outweighs in the why, reason one, reason two. Again, not. The correct way to go ahead is to convince your reader why there are more advantages than disadvantages, or vice versa. Maybe there are more disadvantages than advantages. And that is what we are going to do in this planning. So let's start, as always, by giving us a fancy attention grabber, if we can come up with one. And an attention grabber is something that you grab the attention of your audience something catchy, something like in some societies, the moment you, you pass the age of 65, you are considered uh, a problem for the, for the people in that society. Uh-oh, how dare you say that? If somebody is at the age of 66, what about my grandmother? What about my grandfather? Yet they're useless? Well, how, how dare you say that? You see? That creates attraction. It invokes some emotions. 
That was just one example. Respectfully, please. That was just one example. I don't want you to follow it. I just want you to know there is an optional sentence you can start, but you need to be careful. It's optional. If you cannot come up with something like this or you believe it's too risky, forget it. The next one, we need to have some connecting info. Now, we, we actually have a very, very easy job here regarding the connecting info part. Let me tell you why. Because actually, we have two camps and we just need to introduce the two camps here. There are some people who believe old people are good for the society. There are some people who believe that old people are bad for, for the society. That's what we are going to say. You just acknowledge the existence of these two groups of people and that's it. It's very easy. Now here is the tricky part. You need to, of course, come up with your thesis statement, the most important sentence of your entire essay. And you need to say, okay, do you believe that there are more advantages of having old people or there are more disadvantages in having more people, in more old people? Which one is it? That's the question you need to ask. For simplicity's sake, in this case, I'm going to say that there are more advantages than disadvantages. So it's a, a society is better off if you have more old people, if you have old people, I'm sorry, if you have old people, there are more advantages of, uh, uh, to having a, a group of old elderly people in society than disadvantages. Now, my job here is to convince you, as my reader, that I'm right and there are more advantages. How do I do that? There are two main approaches. One, I'm going to introduce the advantages of having old people. So, there we are. Of course, we are talking about advantages, so plural. I need to come up with more than one. And yes, I know, I know, I know. You need a topic sentence for this paragraph and you're basically going to say that, yeah, the advantages, there are top three advantages that you can think of. Top two advantages that you can think of and you go ahead and write them. I still need to go back to this paragraph, but let's focus on this one for now. And as I just said, you need to also come up with some disadvantages. Why? Because you want to show me that there are more advantages than disadvantages. Can I go ahead and do that? No, because again, disadvantages, plural, so I need at least two disadvantages and yes 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 another topic sentence correct now here's the interesting part this is the part you've been waiting for trust me listen up the first approach out of the two is to show by this by the quantity that there are more advantages than disadvantages how simple I introduced three advantages and two disadvantages. Three is more than two. So in my opinion, if I am an individual worthy of holding an opinion, which it's a human right. So what, I am, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say three is more than two and, <laughs> interesting, isn't it? You can see that out of the five opinions that came to my mind, three of them are good for this agenda, two of them are negative for this agenda. So three wins against two, and that's it. What am I going to do? 
in the end I am going to of course say not not now but I am going to say that based on what you just saw three is more than two and you just restated here by paraphrasing your thesis statement done perfect right what if you don't want to go through the first option and you want to go through the second option which is a little bit harder but let's say at the exam you you try to brainstorm and you cannot come up with more than two advantages and you're struggling well in that case you need to show me that these two yes two is equal to two and so I cannot win this agenda, this essay by the number of good versus bad or positive versus negative. I cannot do that by numbers. I need to use quality now. So the first one was quantity, numbers. The second is quality. I need to show that these two are actually more important, more effective than these two. You see, you can say that, yeah, there are, uh, I, on, on my one hand, I'm holding two apples. But on the other hand, I'm holding two watermelons. You cannot hold two watermelons in your one hand. You have to use both your hands. So the, the, the number is two, two and two. But this is maybe 200 grams, 300 grams in total. The other one is five kilos. You need to show the weight. How do you play with the quality? You need to introduce another paragraph. And in this paragraph, you basically need to say why you believe. These two, these two actually are more than these two or in, in, qual, in, your, in quality. Why these two are more important than these two. And for that, you may need some, some more, some extra information. I'm going to borrow some extra information here. And I'm going to say that, for instance, you're, you're, you may need a reason. Or another reason. What's the purpose of this paragraph? Is to show why the quality of these two are more important than the quality of these two. So you show me as the reader why this is the case. But that requires a separate paragraph and you need to say, okay, these are, these are some advantages and these are some disadvantages, but these two are by far superior. Why? Here's the explanation. And of course, yeah, you can you can also do a combination. So just if I'm I'm sure you if you want to get a much higher score, then you can play with both games, like saying quantity and quality. So Three versus two is one win. And also these three are so effective, so life-changing, so important, so deep uh, in comparison to these two. And you explain why that is in another paragraph that they also win the quality match. So you win both quantity and quality. Now I'm fully convinced that there are more advantages than disadvantages quantity-wise. And in quality also, they are deeper, more effective. That can be an ideal approach. But please expect this might increase your word count to more than 350 words. Yeah, it's not 100% recommended. That's why if I were you, I would have focused on the quantity, because that's much easier, you don't need an extra paragraph. You just focus on three advantages, then you say two advantages, 
and in the body paragraph and in the paragraph in the conclusion you simply show it that hey I named one two three and just came up with two it goes to show us that three as is more than two it's it's uh, already an important element and remember this is your opinion you are an individual you you have some opinions you came up with five items three of them were in favor of this matter that's it you don't have to prove anything you don't have to give references you don't have to rely on any surveys here your opinion is valid and you made a valid point that's it IELTS has to be convinced by now and uh, you just basically paraphrase your thesis statement restating what you believed and if you need another sentence really if you really need another sentence because I already see that you need to come up with <laughs> maybe two sentences to explain why this happened here but if you need another sentence make sure to add some suggestions predictions again on this topic uh, don't don't add new information just say yeah these uh, I mean governments can you take advantage uh, in uh, take advantage of these elements by introducing some new measures by in, uh, I don't know setting some budget or you may come up with some prediction if we fail to acknowledge this we will not be able to take the benefit things like that also let me say that you can do the same thing for disadvantages same game yeah just you need to switch places or you need to increase the number of disadvantages well that's about it if you wish to see a sample done assessed and improved click over here if you wish to see other essays letters or reports planned like this click over here and remember yes eat healthy